Welcome to the presentation of Sage ACMAC Insight. Today I will show you how ACPAC Insight will help you be more efficient at analyzing your data. Please understand that this is only a short overview of ACPAC Insight and this is not intended to serve as the sole basis for your purchasing decision. Additional information can be obtained from your solution provider or if you do not have a solution provider contact information will be provided at the end of this session. Now how valuable is your data? Well everyone says their data is very valuable but the truth is is that most of you don't have good reporting that can access all of your data to help you make those critical business decisions. So having lots of data does not always equal having meaningful information especially if you don't have business intelligence or reporting tools to get at that data. With ACPAC Insight you can tap into the wealth of data in your business and analyze this information to make the best business decisions for your business. ACPAC Insight is more than just a standard reporting tool. It's a forecasting tool, a budgeting tool, and it allows consolidations of multiple companies. It has an easy to use, familiar interface with its integration to Excel, but it still has powerful business intelligence with ACPAC ERP and Pro ERP. This will centralize all of your data, making it easy to create meaningful reports for all of the users in your organization. A nice feature of ACPAC Insight is that it will allow you to generate reports from all dissimilar data sources in your organization. Reports can be generated from both your financial and operational data right down to the transaction level. Reports can be delivered to users as a printout through email, put into a shared folder, or have users access report on demand through Excel. Insight also gives users the ability to access real-time reports through a web browser. Users can perform drill downs to get to the detailed transactions or simply slice and dice their information for better data analysis. At this point, we'll take a look at some of the components that make up ACPAC Insight. Insight is made up of key optional components that can be combined to give you a solution that meets your needs. We'll start off with the viewer. This is a component that gives the users the ability to do drill downs and slicing and dicing of their data. The author component will allow you to create or modify any existing reports. The data warehouse is a key component. It allows all of the data to be centralized and managed in one place. And if you need web access, then the web deployment component will provide access over the internet or your corporate intranet. Now some of you may be running multiple companies and will require the consolidations component to handle all of your chart of accounts. It handles multi-currencies and dissimilar fiscal year ends across all your companies. The universal data access is another key component if you want to be able to tap into all of your other data sources, tap into your legacy systems or any of your third-party systems to bring all of that data into your Excel report with your ACPAC or Pro data. And Insight also has budgeting capabilities, which comes in two flavors, Budgeting Express and Budget Enterprise. Both allow users to efficiently create and complete their budgets in a bottom-up fashion. At this point, we'll take a look at ACPAC Insight and see how easy it is to analyze our data. Excel has become the industry standards for spreadsheets and quick ad hoc reporting. We kept that in mind when developing ACPAC Insight. When ACPAC Insight is installed, it will embed itself into Excel. This gives you the power of ACPAC Insight's business intelligence with a familiar interface of Excel. ACPAC Insight allows you to enjoy all of the features you currently have with Excel and enhances your performance with its powerful integration to the back office. When ACPAC Insight is installed, a menu option will be placed in the menu bar. The Insight options on the menu bar will depend on the components you've installed with Insight. Insight also provides a toolbar option that allows you to quickly get to those options that you use most often. This workbook includes a set of financial and operational reports, but you can easily design a workbook with specific reports for individual users or departments. Each tab worksheet is an individual report in this workbook. You can easily navigate to each one by selecting the tab. I've also included hyperlink buttons in this workbook that allows me to easily and quickly navigate to all of my reports. Let's take a look at my financials. On the financials homepage, 
you'll notice the key performance indicator that gives me a quick snapshot of my business financials. With Insight, I can create all kinds of indicators that will give me a clear picture of my business. I'll take a look at my income statement first. The heading indicates that the company I'm working with is Sample Company Limited, and my reporting date is May 31st, 2010. The details include my current period and year to date. I've included actuals, budget amounts, as well as variance and ratios for my revenue and expense accounts. When I first start my report, I want to refresh it so I can see the most current data available to me. I do this by selecting the Refresh button. This will update my report with the most current values. If you take a look at the formula bar, you will notice my actuals and budget amounts are real values, pulled in directly from the database. The variance and ratio columns are calculated values as indicated in the formula bar. This means that I can continue to use the Excel functions and formulas that I've become familiar with, and I can use them to manipulate the data that I get from ACPAC Insight. This provides me a lot of power and flexibility. Okay, so this is a great report that shows me how I'm doing this period. But what if I wanted to view this report with the previous period? Well, with Insight, I can quickly change the period that I'm looking at without having to exit my report and specify a new criteria. Let's focus on one figure before we make the change. We'll focus on the $1.2 million for my sales 4,000 account. Now I'll simply select the refresh button that allows me to select a different criteria. When the dialog box appears, I can select the period that I want to look at and the report will be refreshed with the new data. And in case you missed that, I'll put it back to May 31st. So I've noticed that I've exceeded our budget of revenues this month, and I want to do some further analysis on it. One of the powerful features with ACPAC Insight is that it provides me with a drill down capability. I can select the $1.2 million and right click to get at the drill down option, or I can select the drill down option off of my toolbar. In the dialog box, I have two options, report drill down and column drill down. I will first select the column drill down option. This ties to a specific template, the GL transaction, which will create a new report with detailed transactions. On this report, I get all the transactions that make up the $1.2 million amount. And because I'm running this as a multi-currency company, it also shows me my source amount and exchange rate. Let's go back to the income statement. We'll do the drill down again on the $1.2 million. But this time, I'll use the report drill down option. Because I'm running a multi-currency company, I want to drill down on the currency code. This will break my sales revenues out by my various currencies. You'll notice the $1.2 million is broken out into my four separate currency amounts, Canadian, British Pound, Japanese Yen, and US Dollar amounts. This is a great report, but I can actually go further. I can drill down on any of these figures to get additional information. I'll drill down on my Canadian Dollar amount of $739,000 and what I'll do is split it out by my divisions. With Insight, you can use any of the account segment dimensions from your accounting system. Here's the 739,000 Canadian dollar amount broken up by my divisions. And if needed, I can continue to drill back on any of these figures to get at the details that I'm looking for. So now if I'm running multiple companies, I would want to see the exact same report for my other company. I would typically need to exit the report set up the new criteria, and rerun the report again to get at that company data. With Insight, I don't need to do all of that. I simply need to change the company data source that I'm pointing to and refresh the report. When the report refreshes, you'll now notice that I'm looking at Company B, Sample Company Inc., instead of Company A. And I'm looking at the exact same period so you'll notice that the $1.2 million for Company A has changed to $952,000 for Company B. Let's put it back to the original company, Sample Company Limited. I've just explored some powerful features in ACPAC Insight. I was able to refresh my report with the most current data when I needed it. I could change my report period without leaving my report, and the drill down feature allowed me to examine my report details and I can easily look up my data from other companies without having to run a second set of reports. Now in addition to the income statement, I have a balance sheet, trial balance, 
and statement of cash flow. Let's take a quick look at the statement of cash flow. Insight allows me to create any financial and non-financial reports that I would need. Now I've added some additional features to my reports that truly enhance the reporting experience. I'll start off with the purchase summary report. This report shows my inventory purchases by vendors. It lists the dollar amount that I purchased from each of my vendors with a total of $27,000 for inventory purchases. Now if you didn't notice, I've enhanced this report by adding a drop-down list box that basically allows me to slice and dice my data. Instead of viewing my inventory purchases by vendors, I can use my list box to select items and refresh my report. You'll notice that the $27,000 for inventory purchase is now broken out by my inventory items. Let's look at my purchases by locations and then we'll drill in on the central warehouse Seattle location. I want to see all the inventory items that came through the Seattle location so I'll select inventory items and click on OK. This gives me a new report just for my Seattle location with all the inventory items that I've received in that location. We'll take a look at some of my sales reports. On my sales report menu you'll notice I have a dashboard. My dashboard shows me the top 10 categories and the top 5 customers. I could have easily included any other metrics on here to indicate my sales performance. This could have been top 10 customers or maybe a graph highlighting my top 5 salespeople. Let's take a look at the sales summary report. In this report I've included the drop down list box and I've enhanced the report further by adding a pie chart. The chart is dynamically linked to my inside data. So when I refresh my report the chart is updated automatically. I am currently looking at my sales by customers. But with the drop down list I can easily change this to look at my sales by inventory item. When I refresh the data below is updated as well as the pie chart. This is going to give me an excellent graphical view to manage my data. When I mouse over my chart I can see that 50 percent of my sales were fluorescent desk lamps. If I wanted to I can now take a look at the performance of my salespeople. I select salesperson and once my chart refreshes I can notice that Dan has done 29 percent of the sales and Bill has done 38 percent of the sales. This is nice when I'm sitting in a boardroom or sitting in a meeting with my salespeople. I can drill down on Bill's figures and look at what products Bill has been selling and maybe which customer he's been selling to. My selection will generate two reports for Bill's sales by customers and by items. These two reports include the pie chart so I get a visual indication of Bill's performance. Because these reports are in Excel, I can capitalize on my Excel knowledge and use any formulas that I would normally use in an Excel spreadsheet. I can include calculations and totals, format the numbers, I could save these worksheets on my desktop or email it to Bill or anyone else on the team. Okay, so let's take a look at the sales trend report. This report shows me my sales trend for my selected range of periods. I can create any trend report that allows me to select a range of periods. Let's change the range selection for this report. For my new range, I'll select November 2009 to May 2010. My report will now be refreshed with the new date range. If I wanted to look at my report across quarterly periods or yearly periods, I can quickly modify that report to reflect that view. I'll select quarter for my period granularity and refresh my report. You'll notice that my monthly period selections are now rolled up into quarters. I can select Q4 2009 to Q2 2010. You can see how simple that was. Let's put it back to my monthly period selection and refresh my report. I also have some inventory reports that show me my inventory summary and my inventory details. We'll take a quick look at the inventory details. This concludes the demonstration of Say Jackpack Insight. So what's next? If you would like to get more information on how this product can address your critical business issues, you can contact your local solution provider. If you do not know who your local solution provider is and you're an existing Sage customer, then you can call 1-877-237-5786. If you are not currently using Sage software product, or you're a customer for Simply Accounting, then you can call 1-877-237-5790. On behalf of Sage Software, I'd like to thank you for previewing our products.